welcome to everyone uh, in this video we'll continue the part of uh, nomenclature of uh, amines dear friends uh, in the last video we already came across the nomenclature of uh, primary amine and secondary amine today we we'll have the tertiary amine so very important as example so how to nomenclature tertiary amine both common as well as your iubc nomenclature so in tertiary amine is mentioned in uh, Three general formulas. One is R three N. The all three alkyl groups are same. And if you consider two alkyl groups are same, yes, one is different. And if you consider third one, all three alkyl groups are different. And that's why. So that's why in a more dimension model, the alkyl group will be two. The other alkyl group is same. ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಗಳು ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ತರ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಕರೀತೇವೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಅಮೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇವರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೇಮ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಲಿ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಅಮೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಸಿ ನೊಮಿನೇಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಎನ್ ಕಮಾ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟೂ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಡೈ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಎನ್ ಕಮಾ ಎನ್ ಡೈ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಅಲ್ಕೇನ್ ನಾನು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಈ ತೆಗಿರಿ ಎಮಾಯ್ ಅಲ್ಕೇನ್ ಅಮ್ಮಾಯ್ ಎನ್ ಕಮಾ ಎನ್ ಡೈ ಅಲ್ಕಾಯ್ ಅಲ್ಕೇನ್ ಅಮ್ಮಾಯ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆಟಗರಿ ನಾವು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ So both are same. Similarly here, so the dialkyl, alkane, dialkyl, amine or dialkyl, alkyl, amine, dialkyl, alkyl amine is a common name. But in IUPAC, it is similar to here. If you have a nomenclature, it is the same here today. If you have a nomenclature, it is the same here today. This is a dialkyl. ಅಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕೈಲ್ಕ
based on alpha, beta, and the longer chain. The smallest chain must be alpha. That's why we consider yes, n comma n dimethyl larger. This is yes, ethyl ethylamine. Yes, ethylamine. I repeat, n n dimethyl ethylamine. The last one. If you consider all three are different. Now this is a CH3, N C2H4, and now it is a C3H7. All three are different alkyls. Okay, my friend. Yes, based on alphabet, you need an alphabet in the literature model. Yes, E, M N O P, E L N O P, M N O P. Sir, I will write E thai, Ni thai, Pro thai. I repeat, E thai. Methyl, propyl amine, based on alphabet, common nomenclature. IUPAC is the largest must be alkyl amine. The smallest means alkyl. Alkyl alphabet is the largest. 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 मकड़े उनसे ये नहीं तो होते हैं दर्शनीय माइन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन थ्री फॉर्मूला दिस इज जनरली इज आल्सो कॉल्ड आर थ्री एन एंड आर थ्री एन अपने बड़ी बोलो सो हियर वी हैव टू मेंशन दैट फॉर्मूला इज आर टू आर डैश एन अपने बड़ी बोलो सो नाउ हियर आर आर डैश आर डबल डैश these three different types of general formula of tertiary amine. Okay, all the alkyls are same. Muru same in three. Consider is a trialkyl amine is a common. N N trialkyl alkyl amine is a UPAC with a suitable example. Here the same thing is now we have trialkyl alkyl amine is a common. Trialkyl alkyl amine is a UPAC based on alphabet and other kind of example in there. So all three are different. Nothing to worry, which is completely different upon alphabet. A B C D में नहीं आता है. Alkyl, alkyl, alkyl amine is a common. Yen alkyl, yen alkyl, alkyl amine. ये बदला तो नहीं पड़ेगा ये. The last carbon alkyl amine must be larger carbon. These two are the minimum carbon and also arranged based on alphabets. This is the simple story behind the nomenclature of tertiary amine. Please practicing this nomenclature because it having. One question in your competitive as well as your theory examination. Yes, after this nomenclature finish, we move on to the next part of our syllabus. Is the simple methods for preparations. So, how to prepare the amines in the laboratories? So, we have various methods in the preparation. Apart from that, we start with one by one. The first reaction is a methods for preparation. Yes, keep yours. This is having a first technique, amanolysis. Amanolysis. Very simple. Amanolysis means addition of or reaction with ammonia, not addition. It is a reaction with Ammonia, which is alcoholic ammonia. Very careful. So now, what happens? Ammonolysis. Simple story. This is your Rx. Rx stands for alkyl halide. Alkyl halide is a reacts with an alcoholic ammonia. Alcoholic ammonia. So it having a three symmetric hydrogen. Hydrogen can replace with halogen. To form the product is halogenated acid. What it remains? H2. Yes, the alkyl group is combined with H2 to form the product is primary S. And this reaction is continuous because still it having two hydrogens. So it once again react with alkyl halide. Same alkyl halide. And this hydrogen is combined once again to release halogenated acid. So now R NH R our compound is a secondary amine. Yes, still it prolongs 
once again on Kaiyar to remove this hydrogen which is an HX yes now the compound is R N this is your R and R this is your tertiary amine this is tertiary amine but still the reaction is gone so what happens and then once again it reacts with your alkyl Yes, once it reacts with alpha aryl, nitrogen still having a lone pair of electron to form a product. So R, N, this is your R, and this is your R, and this is your R with the positive charge. And this is X minus. We call for this very important tetra. This is the four tetra alkyl. The salt will be formed ammonium. Tetra alkyl ammonium halide is a form. This is a simple ammonium reaction. An alkyl halide undergoes alcoholic ammonia. Our target is primary amine, secondary amine, tertiary amine. Finally, to provide is an quaternary salt or tetra alkyl salt. This is your J equation. And based on this general reaction, we have to follow an example. As regarding the salts, very simple. Starting is a CH3 Br. I think all of you know this is your compound is a methyl bromide. What happens when methyl bromide is undergoes ammonolysis, alcoholic ammonia? Let's do it fast. Then, okay, thus it releases hydrobromic acid to form CH3 NH2. Name of the compound is. Methyl amine, IUPAC, methane amine, and once again is CH3Br. Once again HBr to form the addition here CH3, NH, CH3. The compound is a dimethyl amine, and then. This dimethyl amine reacts with CH3Br. Just to form the compound is CH3, Yn CH3, and this is CH3. The loss of the last hydrogen. Still, the reaction is proceeding. Then once again, CH3Br. Our expectation: CH3, Yn CH3. And CH3 here, total three methyl groups attached to this nitrogen with the halogen is Br minus. The name of this compound is very important, friends. The name of the compound is tetra methyl, four methyl tetra methyl ammonium bromide. And this is a very important reaction in our syllabus. This is a general reaction. In ammonolysis, the formation of amines. This is a suitable example. Based on this reaction, so many times they ask the question, complete the reaction. Yes, the other one part only skip mark the whole term. Okay, a part that not fill up mark that will be done. Okay, so we have practicing ammonolysis with different example. Now we have only methyl amine. Methyl bromide is reacts to form methyl amine, dimethyl amine. This is a compound. This is a Trimethyl amine and tetramethyl. If you consider ethyl in the place of methyl, ethyl bromide to get ethyl amine, diethyl amine, triethyl amine, tetraethyl ammonium bromide. This is a wonderful reaction in the preparation of amines by ammonolysis. So one major. And then we have by using the nitrohydrocarbon nitriles. And amines, and the very important is Gabriel thalamide uh, preparation of amines. We will discuss in the next video. Thank you. Thank you so much.